Hi, this is Jamie Pate, and today I'd like to chat about adhesives. Now, while paper crafting adhesive is not the most exciting aspect of paper crafting, it is indeed a very important aspect of paper crafting. And if you're like me, you are using more than one type of adhesive on a singular project. So with that in mind, it helps to know what is out there and available and what works with what project. So today I am going to share with you three ways I am using scrapbook.com's exclusive adhesives in my memory planners. So let me show you what I came up with. If you're a serious crafter, you're certainly going to want to have the right adhesives right there on your craft table, right? Um, you're going to find these exclusive adhesives from scrapbook.com that pretty ideal for so many crafting options, everything from die cutting and scrapbooking, glittering and embossing, obviously so much more. I mean, we creatives can just find all kinds of things to make. Am I right? So with that in mind here on my table, let me show you what we can do with them. You're going to see, I have this quarter inch double-sided adhesive roll. I use this so often, very often it is found when I'm creating many albums because of how strong this adhesive is. I just know my binding and my covers and what have you are not going to come apart. So this quarter inch is one of my most favorite and one of my most used adhesives. And then there is this two inch double-sided adhesive, kind of a wah, big, huge roll of that, right? Uh, I'm going to show you how I'm going to make some titles with this one. Now this is kind of new to the craft table, but I love having this two inch foam adhesive, especially for cards. It just gives such great adhesion and like this extra sturdiness as well. And then the last but not least sitting here on my table is the quarter inch foam adhesive, also a perennial favorite. And so let's get started with some of these projects. All right, on my highlights page in this planner, I love to include some of these interactive elements. So I've kind of grabbed some bits and pieces and I want to make a little interactive flap. So one way I have used this idea in my planner before is first I will grab a piece of pattern paper that's going to complement what is already happening here. And I'm going to score a little edge and that will be what actually scored fold is what helps enable this little page here to open, right? So I'm going to grab the quarter inch double sided adhesive. One of the things I like to attempt to do in my planners is for the most part, create flat layers. So this double sided adhesive is a great flat layer. It's not wet, so it's not going to pucker on the other side. It's actually going to maintain a pretty flat side on the other side of this page. Another way I like to add layers is even though this is a sticker and even though I'm going to stick it down, I don't want the whole thing to stick. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab a piece of scrap cardstock. Adhere my label sticker to the cardstock and then trim it out so that I'm right back to just the label. Then I'm going to take the quarter inch double sided adhesive again. I'm going to put it over here on this side because I want this little part here to hang over and not adhere to the page. It's easy to get a little pick and pull up that adhesive backer paper. And so then when I lay this here, it lays flat, it adheres flat to the page, and then I have the back of the sticker so that it's not adhering to the big page. And this can continue on with the rest of these elements.
another way I'm going to embellish inside my planner is just to kind of highlight a snow day that happened. And what I'm going to do to start is I've already backed this label with backer paper. I'm going to grab a little snippet of the quarter inch double sided adhesive. And again, because I don't want the sticker to be completely flat on the planner calendar page, just going to put a little snippet there in the middle. Take off backer paper. You get the idea, right? I'm going to layer this in. Right there, I have here the quarter inch foam adhesive, and I'm going to snip a piece of it away. Now, what is so great about this big roll of the foam adhesive is that you can cut this down to any size you want. I like that idea. I like that idea. I like having uh, the option of making this longer or shorter or just a little piece. And here I made it a little too long, so I'm just going to go in there and snip that away. Pop that right on top. And then I have some great depth with my snowflake and that label underneath. I have stamped on here with the word Fetty, December, baby it's cold outside. Just kind of trim that away. I think I'm actually going to pop that right on top there. Little piece of the quarter inch, put that in place. I'm gonna finish this off with a little tiny star embellishment. And that's just another way you can use these adhesives to embellish your planner pages. Okay, and a third way I'm going to use the these adhesives in my planner, I'm going to take the two inch double sided adhesive and use it with these skinny alpha dies. So let me show you how I'm going to do that. All right, I'm going to take a piece of smooth cardstock and I'm going to take a scrap of the two inch double sided adhesive and lay that down. So this backside basically is the sticker back, right? So then I'm gonna take the front of it and pop my letters to the top side of the cardstock. I'm gonna hold these down here with some magic tape. I'm gonna run it through my Big Shot so I can cut out what basically is going to be individual letter stickers. All right, I'm gonna pop these out of the die and super skinny, tiny letter sticker. All right, grabbing my planner again. Just gonna carefully take the backer off of each of these stickers and place them right on here to spell the word today. All right, and that is a third way you can use these adhesives for embellishing pages in your planner. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.